let's talk about pants for once in our lives. Let's talk about the pants that I use for bushcraft, hiking, camping, work, just general outdoorsness. And we're talking specifically about the Fjellraven Vida Pros, or Vida Pros, and the Montane Super Terra pants. And we'll even throw in a little wild card at the end, so stay tuned for that. I work outside, my job, I'm a landscape gardener, and I use outdoor pants all the time. I'm in them probably 85% of my life. All my hobbies are outdoors, camping, just hiking. Everything that I do is pretty much outdoors. So it's important for me to have a robust and comfortable pair of pants. If you're new to the channel, please don't forget to hair, shirt and hair. Oh. Right, let's just get into it, mate. Let's get into it. I've got the keks on the floor. I'm gonna put them on and have a little look at them and uh, show you some of the features of the pants. And then you can make an informed decision as to which ones you might want. You might not even want any. You might be lost. You might have just wandered onto this page wondering what's going on. If you have, all right, mate, hope you're well. Right, let's get stuck into it. Let's go through a little bit of the, I mean, you might call them boring. I don't, because I like, I like a good, uh, I like a good in-depth review. So we're going to do that. Let's dive into the features, first of all, of the Fjellraven Vida Pros. The Vida Pro trousers are made from a durable, wind and water resistant G1000 with reinforcements in double fabric on the back and the knees. Low waist and regular fit with articulated knees. Seven pockets including a mat pocket, an axe pocket and inner safety pocket. Elastic adjustment placket ankles. Pre-shaped knees with openings for knee pads. That's an extra accessory but you can just get cheaper ones from your local DIY store. It's got an elastic strap down at the bottom so you can tighten it up and that's got press buttons. The material is G1000, it's 65% polyester, 35% cotton. Reinforced knees and rear. The weight of the pants, this is for a regular, the weight of the pants is 590 grams. And that's the stats for the Fjell Raven Vida Pro. Let's take a look at the Montane pants. On the lower leg, it has a press stud and ankle zipper adjustment for close fit against footwear and to prevent heat loss. It's got a gator hook on the front on the lower trouser to help prevent dirt penetration onto the footwear. It has two large cargo thigh pockets with YKK reverse coil zips. It has a rear pocket with YKK reverse coil zips and it has two mesh lined leg vents and they you can zip them down when you want to just get a bit of cool air to you, maybe when you're hiking or doing a bit of work around the camp. It's constructed from tough uh, granite fabric providing durability, stretch, water repellency and a fast dry time. It's got a zippered fly and a tailored waist with button fastening to reduce excess fabric. Removable tough belt with extra belt loops for accessory storage. It's got triple stitching seams for extra durability. It's got two YKK zipped hand pockets and internal right hand zippered security pocket. It's got articulated knees with reinforced panels on the knee and the seat of the pants. And that is made out of Cordura Hydro and will help protect against rocky terrain. And the weight is 665 grams. So a bit heavier than the Fjell Ravens. I've owned the Montanes for years now and I've taken them on long distance hikes. I've worn them on bushcraft camps, mountain camps. I've worn them for work. I've worn them doing DIY jobs around the house. I've worn them all over the place. They're tried and tested in some pretty harsh conditions and for long periods of time as well. They're so comfortable. They're a little thicker than the normal Montane Terra pants uh, with the reinforced ass and knees. But you need that. I think a lot of the Montane Terra pants are good outdoor pants, but they're predominantly hiking pants, which is just getting from A to B. These will see you better for rock scrambling and hanging out in the woods and, you know, beating them up a bit. As I say, I've had these for years. The only wear and tear that I've seen on them is around the crotch area where a fire spat. I think it was a pine, pine fire we had and it, it spit a few bits of pine on me and it burnt through, but it hasn't ripped. It's just frayed and that's no problem at all. Another thing that I would worry about that, them pants, are, originally I thought, ah, oh, because they've got zips, the zips might fail, 
but the zips are going strong and that is one of the one of the things that I like about the, the Montaigne pants is the zips. The Vida Pros was, I, I'd, I, would be, I would have been happy with my Montaigne's and I would have worn them until they were not fit for purpose. But I went camping with my, with my boy Matt. He had a pair that no longer fit him. He gifted me his Fjell Ravens. Um, I took them and I've, I've worn them now. I think I've worn them on all my bushcraft camps. Anywhere where I'm gonna be in the woods, around thorns, around fire, then I'll wear the, the Vida Pros. I didn't expect to like them as much as I, as I do. I thought, oh, the Montaigne's are gonna take some beating. And these Vida Pros, man, they're, uh, they're really comfortable. They're really nice to wear. I love the fact that it's got an ax loop for around camp and the added addition of the knee pads, being able to put your knee pads in there is, is excellent. What about aesthetics? That's something we have to think about as well. Do they look cool? And the answer is yes. I think both pairs, I can't decide which looks cooler. I like them both, but I will say that the Vida Pro, you'll get away with being able to use that uh, to the pub or, well, what's the pub? Uh, you'll be able to use the Vida Pros around town and doing your daily business without looking too outdoorsy or hikey. Whereas the Montaigne are pretty much, you know, you look, you, yeah. In the mountains, you should be like skipping through Keswick with loads of bags full of stuff. But they do look good. Once you're out in the mountains, they look pretty cool. And they come in, in different colours, greys, blacks, greens. They look pretty cool. But as with the Vidas, Vida Pros, you could wear them just day to day. This has to be said. This is something that... This is a big tick for the Vidas. And it is being able to wax your trousers. Just rubbing the wax on blowing it with a hairdryer until it melts into the fabric. I do it all over the trouser really. You should just do it from the like the knees and the ass, but I like to do it all over the, the trousers and just maybe do it two or three times on the knees and on the back as well, where you're gonna be sat down and where you're gonna be kneeling down. And it just helps repel the water so well. It impregnates into the fabric and it, it gives them a, a really good feel. And to do that, to just to, to get out the wax and actually wax your trousers. I like that. It gives you, it, it connects, I sound like a raging hippie. It connects you to your, it connects you to your trousers. It gives you, and you feel outdoorsy. It feel, it's like, uh, it feels good waxing your trousers. I can't explain it. People out there who've got Fjell Raven products and have waxed their products, or even if you've just, any leather product that you've put a bit of dubbing on or waxed up, it's a nice feeling, I like it. Yeah, my mate Matt gave me the Vida Pros. Now, I took them on my Cornwall trip. They ended up in the sea when I got cut off by the tide when I was with John. I didn't wash them, I just carried, carried on wearing them for, for days. And then they were the only pant that I had with me for my, for my trip. The, the other thing I had was just a pair of cut off denim, let's call them hot pants. <laughs> so I predominantly use the, the Vida Pros for bushcraft and camping and woodland stuff around the fire. And when I'm doing DIY, I tend to wear them around the house. The Montaigne Supers, and I still wear these for, for, long, for hiking and for mountain camping. They are a little thick, so I would say maybe a three season pant. When you get into the depths of summer, I find these a little bit too thick and a little bit too warm, even with the vents. But in summer, I'm normally just wearing shorts. Could you wear the Fjell Ravens whilst out hiking and mountain camping? Of course, and you can wear the Montaigne's in the woods because I've done both with both. The negatives, let me just run through a few negatives that I've found but with the Montaigne. What is the negatives? I can't think of any. <laughs> They're so durable and good. I can't think of any, if I'm honest. The zips have held together and it's not like I haven't, I've beasted them. I've absolutely beasted them. And everything's, hand, uh, you know, the zip in the back pocket. So the only negative that if I'm really picking at it, the only negative that I can think for the Montaigne is they're a little bit heavy when they're a little bit heavy when wet. They take a little bit longer to dry maybe than the, the Vidas when they're fully waxed. And they're not really a full summer pant. And I suppose as well the cost, because you're gonna be paying on the on the Fjell Raven website, these are 145. On the Montaigne website, these are 150, I think. So they're they're in the same price bracket. And that's that's gonna be a negative for the, the Montaigne is the price. 
So the vidas, pros, the negatives, again, the cost, they are pricey. I would have liked to have seen a back pocket on them. I'm, because I was used to my Monte and I'm often putting my hand down there to look for a pocket that doesn't exist. I'd like to have an option of a fastener on the, the top pockets as well. Can't think of anything else. And they have stood the test of time. They don't look, there's no wear or tear. They're perfect. They're perfect. So what I'd say, my advice to you is it depends on what you want them for and depends on what you're doing. If you're just going up into the mountains and you're doing mountain hiking and you don't plan on having any fires or doing any bushcraft, then something like the Montane Supers would be good for you. I would, I would, I'd even sack the Super Terrors off and just get the Montane Terrors because they're great for just hiking. And they're a lot cheaper as well, so maybe look at something like that. If you were going to get one pant to rule them all, I would go for the Montane. Because not only can you hike in them, they're very comfy, they're elasticated as well, whereas the Vida Pros don't have much giving them. You can hike long distances, up and down mountains, but they're also durable enough to do your bushcraft and and hang around at camp, around the fire, and do, do your bits and pieces. If you've got no intention of doing long distance hiking or mountain camping, and you just want some pants for in the woods and on the beach, and just getting stuck in, having fires, doing a bit of bushcraft, then definitely choose the Vida Pros. You're gonna love them. You're gonna love waxing them up yourself. Uh, they, they just feel sturdy. You know, when you're walking through the brambles and stuff, they just feel sturdy. If I had to choose just one pant, <laughs> I don't know. If I had to have one pant for the rest of my life, I think I would choose the Fjell Raven Vida Pros. It, I mean, it could change tomorrow, but there's something about waxing up your own pants. It, it, it personalizes it and I like that. And I like the features. I like the features. There's no zips on them, so I think they're gonna last a lot longer. There's, not, there's less things to go wrong. And they are light enough to hike in. You might get a bit hot, but you can always just roll the trouser up. If you look after them, they're gonna last you years. I mean, both pants are gonna last you years. My Montaigne's have lasted me years and I've put a lot, of, a lot of miles on them. But yeah, I would choose, I think, the Vida Pro if I had to have one. What about the wild card? Thanks for asking. These are expensive, 150 pounds each, let's just say. This is my wild card for a, for a bushcraft pant. If you just go on to, just go to your local DIY place, just go to Screw Fix or Tool Station or just get them online and the Scruffs work pants. I did have them in brown and black cube. I had them for years and I just, I wore them every single day for landscaping, brickwork, everything. And then all my trips out, bushcraft, they were fantastic pants. I ended up burning them in the woods because I couldn't bear to chuck them in the bin. RIP. If you're looking for something on a budget, but also pretty damn good. These work pants are excellent. Absolutely excellent. They're 49 pound 98p as well. 49 quid, so say 50 quid. So three times cheaper. Designed with an ergonomic 3D fit for ease of movement. It features a tuck away holster pockets. The holster pockets are brilliant because you, you can use them as like, on your way into camp, you can just chuck all your bracken and or birch bark or whatever you want in there and you're not getting stuff in your actual pockets that's gonna, you know, mess up getting to your phone or whatever. These flaps just cover your pockets to keep them clear of detritus. Really handy. And you can just, when you're not using them, you can just tuck them back into the pockets. Great for putting your catty ammo in and, and things like that. It's got a reinforced hem and triple stitch seams at stress points and it's reinforced with the hardware in Cordura fabric. Like the Fjell Raven, it's got places to put your knee pads, which is, uh, you know, if you're block paving all day, you're gonna need it. It's got 13 pockets, including two side, two thigh, and two knee. Cordura reinforced knee pad pockets, water repellent and breathable fabric, got a belt loop, it's got a hammer strap, but that can be used also as an axe strap. It's got YKK zip fly, and it's got a phone and a ruler pocket. I wouldn't say budget, but I would say mid, mid range. So 50 quid for a pair of them, and I guarantee you they'll last you, they'll last you years. There you go, just a little random one that you might want to get involved with. And I, I recommend all three of these pants. I do get a lot of comments asking me about my trousers and which trousers are they, and how much are your trousers? So I hope this has answered your questions. Thanks to everyone for watching as always, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.